What's up, y'all? Big Ange here. So I said to myself the other day, I says, what am I waiting for to swap out the heads on my Elise's DM10 electronic drum kit from the Mylar ones to these sick mesh ones that I've had sitting in a box back here for months. I says, what am I waiting for? And then I says to myself, of course, I says, hey. I says, hey. Yeah, that's a good question. So today, we're gonna make the swap together. Like old times, you guys. Are you ready? All right. Have a look from the back side here. One snare, 10 inch, four eight inch toms, and an eight inch kick. And because of the feel pretty much, that's why I use a regular acoustic drum with a trigger. Time to upgrade. Let's go. Okay, everyone ready? Good. So here's all you're gonna need. A pair of scissors, drum key, or two. If you wanna get quick with both hands, nice little rag, wipe things down as you go, clean out some dust, etc. And your new mesh head, and obviously your drum that you're going to be changing. We're gonna do the bass drum here, but every drum is the same, all toms and the 10 inch snare, they all have the same inside and the process has to be the same for each one. We are gonna go through this, to be quite honest, I tried this yesterday. I did one and it didn't work, okay, I failed. All right, is that what you wanna hear? <laughs> It didn't work. And then I ran out of time and patience, and then I deleted it, okay? I wasted a lot of time, but I regrouped. I picked myself back up and I regrouped. Yeah. And I figured it out, and now I'm passing knowledge onto you for free. All you gotta do is like maybe subscribe or like it or comment or something. No, just get with the changing of the, okay. Here we go. These have little nuts inside, so they will fall out the bottom. Make sure you don't lose them. So we have all of our nuts put aside. We're ready to take off the head. Taking off the head, Mylar. See you later. You don't have to disrespect it, okay? You might still need it someday. And Elise just did a really good job on the rest of it. So keep them aside, you know? People like to keep their original stuff. I'm keeping it. You do what you want, all right? Cool. Okay, so you can remove the outer ring while you got it in your hand. You can give it a wipe because you know it is dusty, people. All right, there it is. Okay, it's clean, good. So it's gonna have three layers. The top layer is a pad with the trigger sensor stuck to the bottom there, wired in. Then we have our secondary foam pad and the third foam pad on the bottom. So what we need to do is take out both of these foam pads. Carefully snip away the foam so we can get the pad out. One pad released. The other one, as you can see, has a big hole in the center, donut style. So we wanna be very careful and cut down a straight line like such. It's kind of arts and craftsy, you know? Therapeutic in a sense. Okay, careful. Right, so we can gently place the trigger right there. While we're in here, a little bit of a wipe down, careful around the wires, you know already, okay. Meow, what we wanna do is cut the same hole that's in here because the trigger needs to breathe. So we wanna cut the same hole that's in here in the bottom one. But because it's pressed inside here, it already kind of has a hole pre-cut in there. So jam in your scissors and cut a hole. Good. 
You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you right now. Ah. Okay. So if you remember that this was on the bottom before, this one does now stay on the bottom. So we can feed our trigger back on top of the foam here. Then we want to place the black one that was in the center before on top now. But before we do that, let's put our ring back on and the wood side is facing the top. And if you want to get anal, there is a join on every one of them. And if you're like me and you like things centered, you can stick the join directly on the bottom facing six o'clock. There we go. Wood's back in, putting our foam back on top. Nice, nice. Look at this. Muffle meshes right on top. Logo facing the top. Hey, let's give the chrome a wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, now we got our mesh head on, ready to reattach it. And may I take this time to mention, with this entire process, you do not need, obviously, any soldering and you do not need to mess around with any sensitivity or velocity settings inside the head. These are ready to be plugged in and replayed, but at a much, way better more, better, way more better. It's just way better, you guys. Check it out. All right, so here we are, all brand new. All the heads are all changed up. Nice, nice, looking solid. Much more quiet every time. Beauty, kick drum. Much more responsive too. The stick just pounds back at you. That's what you want. Who doesn't like a nice pounding stick? Come on. 10,000 thank yous for tuning in everyone. We'll see you next time. Keep banging away.